The following video is designed to show how a podiatrist can use the TM flow machine to uh, diagnose and manage uh, problems of the lower extremity uh, regarding vascular flow and neurological function. The TM flow testing device is a device that measures blood pressure, ankle brachial indices, where the lower extremity pressure is compared to the upper extremity pressure as a marker for uh, peripheral vascular disease, arterial stiffness, autonomic nervous system dysfunction, and pseudomotor testing of the soles of the feet. And by using all these results, the TM flow will come up with a wellness program individualized to the patient. And the website ldtech.com gives more detailed information about the test and the device. When you think about who's going to uh, receive the TM flow test, a lot of times people with diabetes that have uh, indications for the test such as uh, symptoms or uh, uh, out of control blood sugar or other risk factors for vascular or neurological problems. Uh, people that complain of numbness, tingling, burning, aching, or other symptoms uh, related to uh, possible nerve or vascular disease. Uh, people over 50 that have risk factors such as hypertension, smoking, and a high BMI with unexplained symptoms in the feet and legs. And people over 70 who show uh, signs and symptoms of lower extremity vascular problems or neurological problems. So the first uh, component of the test is the blood pressure. And obviously uh, this is a young healthy person with a blood pressure of uh, 118, 72 over 118, uh, very normal, but it also gives you uh, indication of the uh, pressure in the aorta. And this can sometimes uh, be valuable with blood pressure normal and abnormal pressure at the aorta. It also measures arterial stiffness, and stiffness is not a good thing. You don't want to have stiff arteries. That's also called hardening of the arteries, and this will decrease uh, the flow of blood in your body. The ankle brachial indices are for the left and right uh, lower extremity, and uh, 0 0.9 to 1.39 is normal, and this person has uh, normal ABIs. But if they had heart of the arteries, it would be picked up such as on this slide. This person is uh, having heart of the arteries and stiffness of the arteries, and it could lead to an abnormal normal read or high read on the ABI exam. The TM flow machine will look inside the arteries and uh, basically tell you if the person is uh, prone to uh, diabetes with insulin resistance or has a decreased uh, immune system, uh, or signs of inflammation. And again, this is a normal result here on a young, healthy person, and they don't have the signs of inflammation, the signs of uh, increased um, resistance to insulin, and signs of a depressed immune system. The machine also uh, uh, calculates the body mass index of fat, and this person is at 19, which is uh, probably above average in America. Now, if you have uh, inflammation in your system, this person has a, a body mass index of 37, so it's a person that's uh, overweight, and so they also show signs of inflammation uh, with their test results, and they still have the normal uh, uh, resistance to insulin. This is another person with a fat mass of 48%. And here we show if they ha if this person is not a diabetic, they're definitely heading in that direction with increased uh, resistance to insulin. Pseudomotor testing is where the uh, electrodes are placed on the bottom of a person's uh, soles, and then a stimulus, a heat stimulus is provided, and the machine measures the release of nitric oxide when that stimulus occurs. And uh, if you have a decreased amount of nitrous oxide release, it indicates a problem with microcirculation. And then the machine also measures the amount of sweat uh, released after the heat stimulus. And if you have decreased amount of sweat, 
then you have decreased C fiber density. And the C fibers are the autonomic nerves controlling sweat on the bottom of the feet. And the autonomic nerves are the thinnest nerves in the body. And so this is a sensitive test for early uh, peripheral neuropathy. So this is a instance where pseudomotor testing can prevent problems from developing. Here we see uh, the phase two, which is mild microcirculation disorder, and phase three, decreased C fiber density. And if a person was to act now by decreasing the risk factors and changing their habits, getting their blood sugar under better control, exercising, increasing the circulation to the low extremity, you can prevent further damage and they won't lose the ability to feel and the ability to pr protect themselves. So this uh, particular person has time to uh, prevent the loss of uh, sensation in their foot. Now the, this person, they have a defined microcirculation disorder and then there is no response. So the C fibers, the nerves in the bottom of the feet have uh, died and this is not going to change no matter how much you improve your overall health. So at this point, um, there's not gonna be a lot of uh, improvement, but it's still good to improve your overall health to uh, prevent vascular problems and issues such as that. So the TM flow machine also tests uh, autonomic nervous system function. And as we mentioned, this is an important uh, function for the sweating on the soles of the feet, but also uh, is related to the heart rate, the uh, constriction of the pupils, all the automatic uh, functions of your body that you don't think about. And here we uh, look at the Valsalva ratio, and the Valsalva ratio is basically a, a measure of your heart rate uh, when you uh, breathe against resistance and then uh, have a series of exercises where you sit and then stand and breathe in and out. And this machine will analyze your heart rate and determine if you have autonomic neuropathy. And as a podiatrist, this is outside our scope of practice, but we would consider the uh, referral uh, to a cardiologist or the primary care physician and also uh, send them on a copy of the results. So at the end of the test, uh, you can review all the data and uh, the, the program puts out a wellness uh, uh, recommendations. And pretty much all of them are going to recommend a very uh, good balanced diet with lots of fruits and vegetables and a decreased use of processed foods, fried foods, and foods with little to no nutritional value. Here we see uh, the machine is recommending the DASH diet. It gives you the suggested calorie range to maintain one weight and then uh, ex recommends an exercise level. Uh, this person is recommended to walk 20 minutes a day and do some light exercise in addition to some moderate intensity exercise such as stretching, uh, treadmill, and uh, consideration of tennis or golf. And then uh, based on the results of your test, they will also recommend uh, certain uh, nutritional supplements. Uh, this person is uh, in a little bit better shape. They're recommending vigorous activity. Uh, uh, they have a double dose of magnesium recommended. That possibly would be related to uh, a marker uh, having to do with sleeping. And then uh, they don't have any particular uh, diet suggestion other than the recommended uh, elimination of processed foods and increased uh, vegetables and fruits. And this person is uh, not in as good a shape, so only light intensity uh, workout. They are the ones that had the 48% body fat. Uh, again, a list of supplements recommended, uh, re recommend a range of uh, calories per day, and then the South Beach diet. So in summary, the TM flow test results uh, provide valuable information. Uh, blood pressure is a key indicator of health. Arterial stiffness can uh, predict uh, possible future vascular problems. The ankle brachial indices are accepted standard for measuring peripheral vascular disease. Pseudomotor testing, where you can pick up changes early and possibly prevent problems by uh, diagnosing early uh, decreased uh, circulation and, and nerve function in the uh, bottom of the feet. And then autonomic fitness markers for this very important autonomic nervous system we all use and then the wellness program where people can actually make changes to improve their overall health. I hope this has been helpful. 
and best wishes to you.